I just spent so long at the hardware store staring at stuff and then this this fits this fits good it didn't fit when I tried it before I don't remember it fitting right that's gonna fit great I don't need any of this so this my shut off new valve packing it's not new repurposed it's gonna make it look pretty all right so that there I swear I had a piece of three-quarter pipe I'm gonna have to dig that up out of somewhere maybe I'll have to go buy some I mean I just stared at all this this, this pile of stuff as soon as this is together there's gonna be boost and I have a vacuum port so I can test with or without to give you back to back um, I'm sure you can't wait I know I can't wait I have a feeling you can't wait too so stick around we're gonna fit this garbage together and then we are gonna start that motor uh, and we are not gonna get a test drive today but we are gonna get boost numbers uh, leave a comment in the description what you think it's gonna be and if you're right, I'll give you 100 points. To say the least, this can become tedious. There's lots of little pieces, and I know what I want to happen, but finding everything that connects together, I, I wanted to use this wonderful clear hose because I thought that looked cool, but it's the wrong, it's not quite right. It's the flexibility uh, and the, the 
tubing diameter. It was expensive and it's not right. And then I was trying to use this and, and these and these and this. And then an adapter and a special 45. These are all, this is just a fraction of the parts that just didn't work. What we have at this point is something along the lines of this. This comes from the supercharger. It immediately goes up to the intake manifold. The intake will be fitted to here, this part of the T and this will go to the input of the supercharger. This bypass allows me to open a path directly from the carburetor to the input. And then the supercharger will just kind of circulate and not really add any boost. If I close this, there's no direct path except through the supercharger and no relief. There is no blow off valve in this setting just because I don't think I'm going to get to a point. But I will know very quickly how much boost I'm creating and if a blow off valve is necessary, well, I'll have to cut one in somewhere. Uh, for now, uh, this is going to, with a couple more pieces of uh, cut cut uh, clippings, I believe that we are going to be in business. Two hours and a, a million pipe fittings and hose clamps later. The minimum size is the inside of a half inch pipe. The minimum size. Everything else, the fittings are three quarter. Um, this valve is smaller, but it's only a pressure release. So we don't have to worry about that too much. It's gonna take a little bit of extra choke to get the sucker going. This goes to here. Can't go in there. I don't really want any of this to dig into my legs, so I've kind of got all these strategically adjusted so I can get to them, but also so they're not like sticking out to grab my pants. And I don't know yet how much we're going to have to twist to get out of the back tire, because the back tire is right in here. leaks. It's time to put it in the frame uh, so we can get this angle just right so that we don't bump the back tire. Well, it didn't quite go as planned. We're hitting the frame back there. Maybe we can go around. this ties in there. I'm gonna have to do something to get that. Uh, yeah. It's not working. But it's kind of interesting. We could put the carburetor anywhere we want. We could loop loop this up over I did all that and it's not quite gonna work. So if it gives you any guess, but I mean look at yeah. I'm getting it. Alright, so it looks like um I've made some changes. You if you if you're paying close attention, you'll notice that's all different. I didn't like how some of the fittings were. I didn't like because this uh, this really goes it has some wobble to it. The shaft wasn't perfect. 
which that's on me, but I mean, I need to just work with it, which means I need to have some flexiness here so that it can wobble and not shake everything apart. In order to get this um, where it needs to go, I got to remove the brake. So took the brake caliper off. It normally goes right there. It can kind of squeeze in there, but it's just a problem. I got to relocate the brake, of course. You know, I'll put it over here. That'll be better. I just, I got to make a bracket. And um, that'll be better anyways, because the cable was really, the way it was like, the cable was coming down and up at a really like sharp angle and it was riding funny and it would bind. It was a really bad location for it in the first place. So this is going to be better. Brake relocation, because the brakes are nice. I decided that, um, okay, so uh, I'll show you where I'm at with it here. I decided that I was going to put this out the back. Well, aside from the cable not being long enough, it's just kind of janky. The choke is still on the wrong side. So if we flip this around and we, um, we just go up here and then throw a 90, we can bring it all the way back here. You can bring it back here and, uh, and that'll help some things. The ca the cables will reach. Um, it'll tuck it up in there in the frame. Um, so it's not so... I'm going to have to do something so that somebody's leg doesn't rip into this stuff. I put as many of these brackets... But I need a tin. I really need a tin um, that I could take off so people could see how neat and fancy it is, but then stick over there for safety when I'm running down the track. Hopefully I can get around to making one of those. You know, it's like a, a cleanup kind of thing. I've been all day at this. Uh, I did not think it would take me this long to figure out how to get this all fitted together. And um, I, as soon as I started, it might just blow right apart and I may have to make some of these fittings a little more stout. But hey, I'm having fun. I, I honestly am enjoying it, but it is a puzzle. Okay. Everything is connected. The motor is held down with two bolts. The drive chain is disconnected. The rear brake is still unresolved, but I don't care. I want to hear it run, and uh, I've got the boost gauge hooked up to it. Gas line hooked up, I've got the throttle hooked up, i got the choke on, I've got the uh, kill switch, I've got the override set to completely override so that we don't build any boost. Let's just see if we can get it to start and run naturally aspirated through this like big manifold. Like it's going to take a minute to get enough... Let's see what happens. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it's going to go. <sighs> Something's not right. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, there.
there was a lot of pulling and I turned the camera off. And I got out of fire with the boost in the off position. And we seem to be having a, um, I'm going to say we pitched a rod. Thanks for watching.